Hi, my name is Len from HLP Controls and uh, we'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to the latest version of the Plum Guard. So the Plum Guard has been in the plumbing industry for more than 10 years now and we've continued to develop it, uh, hopefully making it better <laughs> and we're always happy to receive um, comments and suggestions from you guys in the field. So the Plum Guard comes with the basic unit the yellow box, uh, it's waterproof. The new V3 version is more waterproof than the previous version. Um, we've improved the waterproofness and the battery life. So the battery life is now more than double what the old unit was. And we anticipate the batteries will last for more than three years. Um, and they can obviously be recharged. So the, when you buy a plum guard, the plum guard comes with the unit. The unit will have a sticker inside which gives you the manufacturing date or the calibration date. And they need to be checked for calibration every 12 months, that's the Australian standard. Um, and that's a sticker on there. So always, always make sure that it's been checked within that previous 12 months. And on the sticker it says when it was done and when it's due to be done again and they'll always be a year apart. Now with the plumb guard you also get um, three cables. You get two red cables with large um, insulated clamps and you get a green earth lead. The red cables can be in varying lengths. If you're doing um, meter changes on site, you may want to opt for the 1.5 meter leads, which means you haven't got too much lead around and it's nice and easy to transport and move from job to job. Um, if you're doing standard rep small repairs, we have the standard set of leads of five meters. So the red leads are five meters each, so you can span you know, up to 10 meters really. Um, and we have a long set of leads, which is 10 metres each. So each lead's 10 metres, so you can span up to 20 metres. Um, the clamps will go up to a 40 millimetre um, metal pipe. So you can get those over 40 mil pipes quite easily. Um, the plum guard comes with an earth stake, so you can put for putting into the ground. We we'll also have an option of the stainless steel plates which we use to go onto pipes bigger than 40 mil. So 63 mil up to as big as you want. So these plates actually clamp onto the pipe um, and they come with a set of straps and then you can put the plumb guard connections onto that plate and that uh, enables you to connect to bigger pipes. So the plumb guard, how easy is it to use? We think it's very easy. So when you first get them, sorry you won't do that. When you first get the plumb guard, we need to plug in the three leads. They're very clearly marked left, right and ground. So we plug the three leads in. Now the first thing you need to do is to connect all the leads together for a self test. So we connect all the leads together. We turn the unit on. And the unit now says that it requires a test, so it's flashing the test button. So we push and hold the test button. It checks all the leads, and you can see that there's three yellow LEDs flashing, and that gives you the beep. So if you release that now, the test lead, the test light does not flash anymore. Just the on-off light flashes, and the unit is beeping every 10 seconds to let you know that its self-test is complete. It's tested its, uh, all the leads and it's ready for operation. So if you're going to do a, a meter change, it's a matter of putting the plumb guard clamps onto the meter, or the pipe I should say for the meter, connecting the earth cable to the earth stake that we provide and putting it into the ground. Plum guard is now monitoring it and it's not alarming so it says that it, this is a safe work area at the moment. So we need to put the jumpish leads on which is your second level of protection. Make sure they're nice and have a good grip, nice and firm grip onto the pipe. And that's it. So the new V3 version has a battery level indicator which flashes green for full battery. It flashes orange when you're getting down to a third battery left and red when you're getting down under that. It'll also let you know by a chat by beeping additionally when the battery is getting flat. 
So expect the battery to last uh, more than two days in continuous use. So that's it. It only takes a few seconds to put the unit onto a pipe and your work site is now fully protected. So you're asking what happens if we get an alarm? So to simulate an alarm, I'm going, I've got a small power source here and I'll connect the power source to the tap. And you see the plum guard has now got into alarm and it's flashing all three LEDs, yellow and beeping. And it will continue to do that until it's turned off. So that, because all those LEDs are flashing, it means that the whole pipe system has gone live, both sides of the pipe. If there was only one side of the pipe had gone live, only one of the LEDs would flash and that would tell you which side has gone live. So the only way to stop that is to push the on off button to turn it off and that resets the plumb guard. So there's no point in retesting the unit and turning it back on uh, because this worksite is dangerous. So don't touch it. Don't touch the pipes. You can turn the unit off just to save the beeping, but um, do not touch anything because the plumb guard has said the, there's, a, there's an electrical fault here that's caused it to go to a dangerous voltage and it is dangerous, so don't touch it. There's nothing you can do. You've got to follow your workplace instructions, call the electrical authorities and get them to look for that electrical fault. Now, there's no point in turning it back on and doing a retest because the electrical fault could have been only for a short time and it might have gone, but that doesn't mean it's not going to come back. If, the, if a fault's been there now, whatever caused it can come back at any time. So there's no point in retesting it or touching it or doing anything. There's an electrical fault somewhere. It could be in the house near where you're working. It could be streets away. But that fault has caused that pipe to go dangerous. So there's nothing you can do. Um, obviously, there's, a, there's levels of protection. So you've got your shunt cables in there, which are gonna protect the area a bit. Um, you can have, you have the gloves if you're using them. You should be, it depends on your own work safe practices. Um, and all that is making it safer, but once the plum guard goes off, they don't force alarm. If it's gone off, it means it's dangerous. So if you go out to your, to your truck to get some gear and you come back and the plum guard's alarming, there's an electrical fault that's been there, could still be there, may have gone. Nobody knows, but also nobody knows when it's gonna come back. So there's no point, so point in putting yourself in any further danger. Turn the unit off and follow your workplace instructions to uh, contact the electrical authorities. So what comes in a kit with the plumb guard? So in the plumb guard, we get all the cables in the length that you need. So you get your red cables, green earth lead cable, earth stake, the plumb guard itself. We get a charger kit, so a mains and a car charger. So you can charge it on site if you need to. Um, the gloves are optional, so you different sizing and the plum guard cables go up to a 40 millimeters diameter pipe. Once you get over that you need to use what we call the jumper plates. So these plates are designed to go onto a large pipe and they've got stainless steel spikes that bite into it and they come with some straps and the straps ratchet down to hold it tightly onto the pipe and then you can put your plum guard connections and your jumper connections onto that plate and that's a, a very good connection to the metal pipe. So that's what you would use if you have pipes over 40 millimeters that you need to either repair, disconnect, put a new T fitting in or, or test. So that's it for me. That's uh, all about the new plum guard V3. Um, so the new features are, we've got a new battery indicator, um, it's, they're still waterproof, the waterproof is better and the battery lasts a lot longer. The extra feature with the V3 model is that we now have a Bluetooth communications and I'll run through that in the next video which is going to be the how does the Bluetooth work. Thanks.